I bought an old beat-up cuckoo clock from eBay on eBay a while ago, and one of the things uh, one of the things I have to fix about it is that its face had lost most of its numerals. Uh, there were like two remaining on there, and I popped those off real easily. So I ordered replacement numerals, which came in four identical strips, and I cut them into the proper numbers here. And then I've got some white glue so that it's removable. And I've got a little, you know, disposable cap to put that glue in, and then toothpicks to sort of pick up some of it and, and tap it onto the uh, numerals as I go. The big thing is I printed out, I designed and 3D printed a uh, little template that's to help me line up the numbers. So I'm going to put that, oops, I'm going to put that in place here and line it up with the existing numbers so that I can put all the numbers in the right place. I'm going to start with 12, one of the larger numbers. So I've got a little scotch tape on the back of this dial to hold the post in so that this doesn't turn. And I've lined it up. And that, those are the three holes. And that's the shadow of the old 12 on the dial. If you're using a new dial, of course, you won't have that. And now I'm going to take off my glasses and start with the 12 here. Let's see here. Pick up a little glue with the uh, toothpick. Whoa, that's a lot of glue. One thing somebody said on one of the uh, NAWCC forums is they said use about a quarter of the glue you think you're going to need. So I'm dropping that right on there. And then I'm going to move it around a little to make sure it's nice and straight. Touch it down. You can see the glue oozing out there, but that's going to dry clear. So I think I have the first one here now. Let's go to 11 next. I'm starting with these wider numbers so that they're easier to set up. The number one is going to be a little difficult. Okay, so once again, just a tiny amount of glue. <clears throat> and then set it right there. Touch it. There. Oh. I moved the twelve out of place. There. Pushed it back in place. So twelve and eleven. It's ten. It's next. <clears throat> Just a dot on there. <sighs> oh, wow, looks pretty good. Nine. Uh, IX comes next. A little dab on there. Yeah. The idea of the guide is that I can run this right up against the edge of the guide. It seems to be going well. 
we'll see how this goes. So, um, that was nine, eight, VIII is next. Got kind of a lot of glue on that one. Right up against the template. It's centered more or less as much as I can. Yeah. Yeah. Good. That's eight, so seven is next. I'm pressing these down again just to make sure they don't slide around. Okay, six is next. The eye. <clears throat> I'm using more glue than I really should be, but uh, I'm hoping that it'll dry clear. It should. It's just a white glue. Yeah. Good. V. Five. Whoa. So I turn it over. It turned the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a little messy. There we go. Let's a little bit down. Right against the template. Right against the guide. Nice and straight along this line, centered. <sighs> Looks good. <clears throat> Four. The last really wide one. Oh! Oh no! Dropped it in the glue. Okay. flat against the template, against the plastic guide, and centered. Ooh, that's a lot of glue. Line it up. Press it against the template. This one has a nice bar in the middle I can line up. Okay, 
Uh oh. It slipped. By the way, these numbers have a front and a back. Um, on the ones here, it doesn't matter, but on the V's and the X's, there's a thick stroke and a short and a thin stroke that you need to. The thick stroke should always be on the left. Okay. Okay, and the one should be the hardest one here that I've had practice by now. By the way, I've never done this before. Woo! As you might notice. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. It dropped, but fortunately, peanut butter side up. Instead of down. Okay, I'm going to use a toothpick to move this one around. Okay. Oh, I was afraid of that. It came up with my finger when I tried to. Well, I'm going to have to re glue this. Hmm. I said it would be the hardest. Okay. Okay. Just a touch from there. And straighten it up right here. Okay. Oops. Get it back into view for you. So. Okay, I think I'm done. There we have it. Let me put the 12 at the top now. That's the finished face, and in a while, that glue. I used white glue, by the way, so that it would be um, reversible instead of super glue. You know, a lot of clock folks talk about uh, reversibility of repairs, you know, so that somebody in the future can undo everything you've done. And that's the case here. I'm using a, just a, a regular Elmer's white glue. So there, I've put the numerals on the clock. And here's the finished dial. Uh, the glue has dried quite a bit and from a distance it looks uh, really great. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm very happy.